Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to export data from a PySimple GUI table to an Excel spreadsheet. Um, we're not going to go over how to create this table and some information. Um, that's another video which I'll link in the description. But we're just going to take this and put it into an Excel spreadsheet. So basically the way this program works is we have main contact window, which corresponds to this window right here. And in this main contact window, we have two um, buttons, one to submit contact information. Um, so for example, like this, um, to be displayed in, um, in a table, and then another to actually show the table right here, all right? So um, when we click con submit contact information, uh, let me, let's go ahead and click an X. Let's say we type in Jason, uh, blue, something like that, submit contact information, and then show table, and we get this. Now, these two buttons functionality is specified in the um, event loop. If you click show table, we're actually going to call a function called create from the contact information table window file or module, which we've imported right up here. So if we want to export information from the table or that gets um, put into the table to an Excel spreadsheet, this is where we need to start. So that is right here. Um, so let me just go ahead and, okay. So as you can see right here, we have one function called create. This takes contact information array uh, from the main contact window. So right here, we're creating this, um, this little array right here of a name, address, and phone number. That's getting added to contact information array, which is stored right up here, okay? And this is gonna end up being a 2D array with arrays for name, address, and phone number inside, and then also, with the first element being for, well, not the first element, but we're also going to have headings inside eventually. But really this stores, um, this is a 2D array that stores arrays of name, address, and phone number. And that's what we're sending to contact information table window and specifically the create function right here. So this is gonna be a 2D array. And then we're also, set, we're also sending the headings. And right here we say values equals contact information array and then headings um, equals headings. So we, we basically need to take these two pieces of uh, data right here and then turn them into an Excel spreadsheet. We also need to specify um, some UI elements to allow us to generate our Excel spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going, we have this sg.table element. We need another element and that element's going to be uh, sg.button uh, export to Excel spreadsheet. So that's gonna allow us to click on a button right here and then be able to create our spreadsheet. And the next thing we're gonna do is we actually need to attach this button to some event in the event loop. So we're gonna say elif event equals uh, export to Excel spreadsheet We're actually gonna call a function that we haven't written yet, which is gonna be uh, generate Excel worksheet. I'm gonna say contact information array, and then headings, okay? So we're gonna create, we're going to create a function called generate Excel worksheets um, right outside of this create function. Because remember, this layout right here, the window and the event loop are all inside the create function, which is being called from right here. So outside of this, we're gonna create a function called uh, generate Excel worksheet, whichever def. And as input, this is gonna take these same two pieces of information, this, co this 2D contact information array and headings. So we'll say contact Actually, we can make this more generali generalizable and we can say uh, table array and headings. Um, and what we're basically gonna do first is we're gonna say table array equals headings plus table array. So we'll just say, mm, we'll say Excel table array to make this clear. So we're basically creating a new array just to write to our Excel file. And what we need to do first is we need to append headings. 
So we need to append this heading's uh, 1D array to our 2D array, to our 2D table array, um, which holds all of this information that's being stored in, in the table. And that's contact information array in our create function. So we're actually doing this in order to actually turn headings into a 2D array. So we can um, add it to the beginning of table array using the plus sign. The, the, um, basically, it's, it's an operator for arrays. So we're adding headings to um, table array, and we're making this the first element in um, our Excel table array. So we'll have headings, and then we'll have the rest of this information in Excel table array. Now moving on, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new workbook. We're going to say workbook equals XLSX uh, writer dot workbook uh, contact dot XLSX. Um, and we haven't seen this before unless you've seen the other video on Excel files. XLSX represents a Python library. So we're going to say import XLSX writer. I've actually already installed this, but if you haven't installed this yet, let's open up uh, a terminal. And what you need to do is you need to type in pip install xlsx writer. This is the command you need to install the package that we will be using right here and importing right here. So if I were just to hit enter, I mean, it's already installed, but this is just so you know that it works. Anyways, let's close up our uh, our uh, terminal right there. So th this is how we're going to create um, the title of our worksheet of our file. It's going to be contact.xlsx. And then we're going to say worksheet uh, equals workbook dot add worksheet. And we're going to give it a title. So remember worksheet is like, for example, in Google, in Excel, when we have sheet, we have a sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Um, so we can add different worksheets to our Excel file. And we're going to say add worksheet, and then um, we'll just call it contact sheet. If it's unclear what this is, um, when we actually generate this file and then open it up, I'll, I'll uh, specify that. Next, we're going to say row index and then equal zero, and then column index equal zero. Um, and we're going to say for row in table array. Um, so just for a little like context, our, ta our Excel table array is gonna look like this. So it's a 2D array. Um, we've got headings, like so we've got, uh, we've got, I'm just gonna do this. So for example, um, we have um, name, address, and then we also have a phone number. And then we would have other elements for our actual data. So that might be like uh, John, Twenty one Red Street and whatever phone number we specified. So three one something like that. Okay. So this is how our Excel table array looks. So we want to go to each row in Excel table array. And for each row, we want to go through each column. So for example, if we're starting with this row right here, we want to go to each of these individual elements in the row. And to do that, we're going to say for column in uh, in row uh, worksheet dot write row index column index and then column. Um, so to see what this actually means, let's go ahead and take a look at Google Sheets. So this is an example spreadsheet. Um, and this was actually generated by a very similar program. So basically, if we're if our row index is zero and our column index is zero, then we're referring to this cell right here. So a cell in row one and column A. Okay. So we're using this worksheet dot write function, um, and we're specifying the row index that could be one all the way down here, 
and then our column index, um, which could be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, except our column index in Python is just going to be an integer, where this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a row index is similarly, similarly going to be an integer, where this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for the rows, we're actually starting um, one behind what it would be. And for the um, columns, we're actually not even, I mean, we actually just have numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 that uh, correspond to the different letters. So we're going to go through each one of these and write it to its own row. So we're going to write, so for example, this would be, if we wanted to write name, we would be, uh, it would be 0, 0, and then name because we're starting right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say column index plus or plus equals one, um, which is moving on to the next column, which is going to be B. And then we're going to go right up here and then move to the next uh, element in the row, which is going to be address. And that's going to be at the same row. So row one in Excel, zero in Python, and then column index, um, um, column index uh, one in Python, but B in Excel. And then we're just going to write address. Okay. And that's going to get us to this. Now, when we've gotten through every element in a given row, that's when we're going to tab out and we're going to say column index equals zero. So we're going to set our column index back to zero, meaning the first element. And then we're going to say row index plus equals one. Uh, just to move on to the next row. So we can move from this row down to this row. Um, by the way, when I was talking about uh, sheet, I was talking about these sheets down here. The name wasn't changed for this one, but it will change um, when we go ahead and stick this into Google Sheets. So this is how we're basically going to read the information out of our 2D array and then store it into Microsoft Excel. Um, so what we're going to do after that is we're going to say workbook.close to close our connection to this um, Excel SX file. And that workbook is just this workbook object right up here. And then we'll say return row index. And that should do it. So what we need to do now is we've already specified the function right here, generate Excel worksheet. We need to go ahead and try to uh, generate this Excel, uh, this Excel spreadsheet or worksheet. So let's go ahead and close out this program and let's run uh, this again. Let's say main contact window. Cool, so we need to type in some other information. We'll just say a myth, uh, 25 Jump Street, and then, okay, submit contact information. Let's open our table up. We've got this right here. We also have export to Excel spreadsheet. So let's give that a try. So we clicked on that and this contact.slx appeared right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this to Google Sheets, which we're using because I'm on a Mac and I actually don't have Microsoft Excel. And we're gonna see what it looks like. And we've actually been successful. Google Sheets is a little bit slow for me, but basically have our um, full name, address, and phone number. So we've managed to add our header. And then we also, we can also see the information that we specified in our table right here. Um, and that's right here for our first row. And our sheet is called contact sheet. So I hope that was of use to you. Um, if you found value in this video and you wanna see more like it, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, have a nice day.